while since I made a video, so I thought this morning that, you know, I should make another one. Woke up at like 6 a.m. and then I went to the gym. You just saw the workout. It was pretty good. I'm not too good at deadlifting, so I didn't go too heavy on that. And then there were also some parts that I just didn't want to film because, you know, it can be kind of weird to just like walk around with a camera in the gym. So yeah, like for example, at the end, I also did abs, but I, I didn't show that. So, so yeah, now it's about 20 past seven and I'm about to go and pick up my breakfast. So I'll see you there. It's been a while since I made a video. The last time I made one was during the fall term and then I didn't make any during the winter term. And now I thought that it's the spring term and you know things are like a bit different. Uh, maybe there's something more interesting that I can show. So I just thought I'm gonna make a new video. And also there was a huge demand from my giant fan base, which is basically my girlfriend and my grandma. So yeah, I just thought, you know, this is the time to make one. So I just went to get some breakfast at Red Door Cafe. So if you remember, during the fall term and actually during the winter term as well, I used to go to Broad Cafe to get my salmon toast with poached eggs, which was the absolute highlight of my day. But recently I've been going to Red Door Cafe because I kind of got bored of the salmon toast and I'm just getting this massive sandwich of avocado, and cheese and eggs and ham and tomatoes and so it's just a really good way to start the day with a bunch of calories and yeah and with the sandwich I'm also getting a cappuccino which is a bit different than the latte that I used to get in the first two terms because I just realized I prefer cappuccino because when I went to London I drank a bunch of good cappuccino but here unfortunately the cappuccino is kind of shit but I kind of just stuck with it so it is what it is so now I'm just gonna destroy my breakfast and then I'm gonna take a shower and start preparing for my classes and yeah, I'm just gonna have to do a bunch of work today. So I thought also in this video, it's gonna be more like I'm gonna tell you about what I study, what topics we cover, because last video was about like a bunch of nonsense I feel like and here maybe I'll show you some more interesting stuff, I don't know. So yeah. So I just took a shower and now I'm wearing this um, Los Angeles Lakers themed Red Hot Chili Peppers t-shirt that they gave us at the Lakers game. And basically before taking a shower I was like reading for an hour because every morning I prepare for the day's lectures. So today I have two lectures, biological circuit design and also neuroscience. And they are in the same lecture hall, so it's really convenient that I don't have to go anywhere. I can just literally stay in my seat and then everyone's just going to walk in and then, yeah. So I just thought this would be a great time to talk about the classes that I'm taking. So what is biological circuit design, you might ask? Well, if you know anything about biology, you know that there are thousands of genes and proteins in each cell. And these proteins and genes are connected in these really elaborate complex circuits and these huge, huge networks. And basically what this class does is that we look at these networks through a mathematical lens and basically analyze little motifs that you can find in these networks called network motifs. It allows us to both understand the circuits in living cells and also understand the design principles that we have to consider if we want to engineer synthetic circuits for gene therapy or cell therapy or whatever use. This class is definitely a top three class in the classes that I've taken in the past three years. And it's just generally really cool because it's taught by Michael Elowitz, who is basically a founder at this um, systems biology and circuit design field. 
and also another teaching professor called Justin Boyce, who's also probably the best lecturer here in the bio department at Caltech. Um, and last week, we also had a guest lecturer, Uri Alon, who is one of the great like founding figures in this field as well, uh, together with Mike Lelowitz. So it's just really cool to be taught by, you know, these like amazing people. And genuinely, this class is amazing. So if you are doing bio at Caltech or if you're ever planning on doing bio at Caltech or just even uh, at any other university, you should definitely check out this course. And now I still have one more hour left until my lectures start, so I'm going to prepare for my other class, which is neuroscience. So in the neuroscience class, first we start with neuron physiology, how the basic principles of ion channels and and um, action potentials work and then go towards the more like macroscopic features of the brain and how different areas uh, function, how different pathways in the brain are connected. Um, if anything, this course made me sort of realize that I'm not super interested in neuroscience, which is really good because usually I'm interested in so many things at the same time uh, that my brain just explodes. But now it's sort of like a good realization that there's at least something that I'm not really interested in. It is a cool subject, don't get me wrong, but like every time I need to read the textbook or prepare for the lectures, I just find myself procrastinating. So yeah, but I still want to do well in the course. So obviously now I'm going to just prepare for the lecture. Um, at every lecture, we also have a quiz. So obviously I want to do well at the quizzes. And then, yeah, so now I'm just going to sort of like go through the textbook, um, check the lecture slides, and then I'm going to go to class. So I'll see you there. This is the G code to exchange at the active site. GPT for GPT. Want to see die positive? We want to see die positive. This is an active just came back from class. It was a quite interesting two hours. Uh, as I said, I had neuroscience and biological circuit design. The neuroscience class was not super, super interesting because it was about G protein coupled receptors, which is something I've learned about many, many times in the past two and a half years. So there wasn't a lot of new information, but it's always good to have a refresher, I guess. And then in the second class, biological circuit design, we covered something completely different than what I was expecting. So basically me reading the lecture notes uh, before the class was completely useless this time because it was something else. And there was some math that the lecture went through really fast. So I guess the lecture notes for this class is something I'm going to have to review. Um, but then that was really interesting. And then also the other lecturer stepped in and he also talked about a bunch of uh, interesting things about oscillators in biology, so how biological clocks can keep a sine wave like rhythm, and that's something he's really into and really enthusiastic about. So it was just really cool to hear him talk about that. Um, and then after the class ended, I just went to pick up lunch, and I got this thing that they call Mongolian barbecue here, which I'm not sure if it has anything to do with Mongolia, but it tastes really good. So basically, you get to pick any kind of veg you want. I chose broccoli, carrots, zucchini, onions, and you get to pick any kind of sauce you want, which I chose chili oil, soy sauce, and oyster sauce. And then you get to pick your protein source. I chose shrimp, and then they mix that with noodles and they make this really, really nice stir fry. So I'm just gonna destroy this meal now. And then I'm gonna head to the lab where we've been working on this qPCR protocol for like a few months now and we never managed to get it done or get it to work properly. So hopefully today is gonna be the first day when it's gonna work and I can show that to you guys. But yeah, I mean, we'll see. For now, I'll just eat this, read a bit of the neuroscience textbook and then I'll go to the lab and I'll see you.
so I just came back from the lab. I'm gonna go back to check the results once the whole qPCR run is done. That's about 90 minutes, so I'm just gonna call my girlfriend now real quick, who is, by the way, also all over my wall. So yeah, and we're probably gonna watch Netflix and just ignore my bed in the background. That's usually not this messy. And yeah, I'm just gonna tidy my room probably in a few hours. So yeah, I'm just gonna call my girlfriend now. Wait, just say hi once more. Hi. <laughs> so cute. So actually it's 7.30 p.m. now and we just had a really, really long conversation. And I was actually planning to go to Cheesecake Factory because that would have been cool to try out today. But I don't really have time now. And actually from 7.30, now I have a recitation for the biological circuit design class. And that was really, really useful a few weeks ago because it just helped me a lot with the homework. So I'm just gonna attend that now. And that's gonna be until 9 p.m. And once that's done, I think I'm gonna go and pick up some Five Guys. And also in the meantime, I went to check the results from the thing that I did in the lab, which it was really annoying because basically the thing that was supposed to take the measurements I forgot to like sort of like turn that on um, so basically the whole thing didn't really measure what I was interested in so I gotta have to do the whole thing again tomorrow which is really annoying but it is what it is it happens to everyone so yeah I'm just gonna go to rest station now and then I'll see you at five guys So <clears throat> after I went to the recitation, literally the best thing happened to me because I went to Five Guys and turns out that at Five Guys, in the Pasadena one at least, they don't accept my Revolut card and so they told me that I can just have my order for free. So I have a drink now and <clears throat> a bacon cheeseburger and regular fries. So. Yeah, it would have been like $25-ish, but now I got it for free, so I'm like really happy about it. But what I'm not super happy with is how productive I was today, so I think I'm actually sort of going to break one of my rules, and I'm actually going to work past midnight tonight, because I just want to get a lot of work done, especially at the recitation, they give me some like new ideas on how to solve the problem set, so I'm just going to put those to use. And yeah, so I'm just gonna eat my free Five Guys and I'm just gonna work. And then, yeah, I mean, I'll try to sleep before midnight, but we'll see. So as I said, here is the regular fries and the double bacon cheeseburger, which just looks really, really amazing. And you can also see sort of and you can also see the homework I am working on basically just a bunch of bunch of bunch of math and and this is not even this is not even like one problem set this is literally the smallest like easiest problem in this week's problem set so you can imagine how much stuff there actually is just for this class for this week. Um, but anyways, um, I should get to work properly. So I took a shower, I worked a bit, and I also tidied my room. And now it's a little bit past midnight, and I'm planning to call my family in the morning. So I'm just probably going to sleep now, and then I'm going to wrap this video up tomorrow. So I'll see you then.
So we are three days in the future now because it is Saturday now and I recorded most of the video on Wednesday and I just wanted to end this video on a positive note so today I managed to finally go to Cheesecake Factory which was honestly great I'm just gonna play you a short clip and so you can see the food that I was eating And I also managed to submit all my problem sets on time, so really it's just, you know, everything is going well. Um, we seem to be progressing towards finding out why is the thing that we're doing in the lab not currently working, so that's also, I guess, a positive thing. And yeah, um, honestly it's harder to record a video than you would think. So I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it wasn't too disorganized. Um, I guess it was slightly different than what I was doing in the fall term and yeah so just make sure to let me know if you liked it and I guess I'll see you in the next one.